Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to sew the slipper bottoms to crochet slippers or knitted slippers. To sew the slipper bottoms into crochet slippers, I use my leather slipper bottom set. I got mine from Knitpick. I'm going to put the link in the description below. It comes with two different sizes. A medium size is for women, which is this one. And then a large size is for men, okay? And you need scissors. And I use my yarn needle to sew the slipper bottoms into my slippers. Let's get sewing. So it have four pieces like this. And it's come with the yarn too. And I think this yarn needle is too big for this hole. So I'm gonna change it to a smaller one. I'm gonna sew the toe part first. So I'm gonna leave about 30 inches long for my yarn. I think it should have enough. Then cut it, then start sewing. It doesn't matter which side you choose, it looks the same, this leather. So if you get a different place, it might look um, a little different. So I'm just going to put it just right here. Okay, let me zoom in real quick. Then I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to insert into this hole first. But I'm going to insert from the uh, inside, right on the crochet slipper. I pick up a strand of yarn like that. And then insert into the corner hole here. And pull through. Leave a little bit of tail and I'm going to deal with this tail later. Then I'm going to insert into the next hole. Insert. And then grab the next stitch on the slipper. Then insert back into the same hole on the slipper bottom and then pull up. Then insert into the next hole here. Then I'm going to pick up a next stitch on the slipper. And then pull up. Keep checking. You have to check as you go. Okay, I insert back into the same hole. Pull up. Insert into the next hole. And I think this time I'm going to insert into the same stitch on the slipper because I don't want it to be too tight. Okay, pull up. Okay, looks good. And then insert back into the same hole and then pull up. Insert into the next hole. Then insert into the next stitch on the slipper. Pull up. Insert into the same hole and pull up this way. Insert into the next stitch here, then insert into the next stitch on the slipper. Pull through, insert back in the same hole, pull through, insert into the next hole. Then I'm gonna insert into the same stitch on the slipper. I think it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna repeat this around and I'm gonna check as I go. You might have to do a little different on your slippers because you might use uh, different stitches on your slipper or you might um, order different brand of slipper bottoms. So yeah, just check as you go. Make sure it's not too tight and not too loose. This is the last hole. Then I'm going to grab a strand of yarn right here. Pull up. Then I'm going to tie this in together a couple times. Then I'm going to insert my needle through this strand of yarn and then go through the other side there. Then I'm going to tie a couple knots again, just extra secure, 
All right. Now I'm gonna hide this in. I'm gonna hide it along this line. Like that. And then insert back. Then I'm gonna trim this end. Then I'm gonna do the same on this end. Just hide it through the stitches. Then trim it. All right. You done with the toe. Next, you're gonna sew the heel. And they leave about 18 to 20 inches long. Then I cut it. And now let's get sewing. Just measure it, make sure it's nice and even on both sides. Okay, I think this is look good. All right, I'm gonna start right at this corner. I'm gonna insert from the inside like that. And then insert through this corner hole. Pull up. Leave a little bit of tail. Then I'm gonna insert into the next hole here. Then I'm gonna insert it right here. Again, you just need to check as you go. I'm gonna do the same technique. So the same technique here. I insert back into this hole, pull up. Then insert into the next hole. And then insert into the next hole right here. Pull through. Okay, looking good. Insert into the same hole here. Pull up. Then insert into the next hole. Then next stitch right here. Insert into the same hole and pull through. Insert into the next hole and maybe insert right here. It's just at the corner, it's a little weird. So, okay. I'm gonna keep repeating this around. This is the last hole. I insert and then bring it in like that. Then I'm gonna tie a couple knots. Then I'm gonna insert through these stitches. Then I'm gonna tie a couple more knots. Then I'm gonna weave all the ends. Do the same that you did on this part. And this slipper bottoms will stop it from slippery. And then you're gonna sew the other side exactly the same. I got two sides sewn here. Here's what it looks like, super cute. And stay tuned for this crochet slipper pattern and video tutorial, it's almost done. And after I upload the video tutorial for this crochet slippers, I'll be sure to put the link to that video in the description below. And be sure to subscribe to Knit Crow Attic channel and hit the bell if you don't want to miss out any of my videos. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.